I'm Christy Duffy for Smart Trend News, reporting on the latest developments from the Worldwide Developers Conference in San Francisco. Steve Jobs continues to fill us in on the details of Apple's newest product, the iPhone 4, or as Jobs has just informed us, the official new name for this product, the iOS 4. The latest, we can now see images of the inside of the phone. Most noticeable is the larger battery and the micro SIM. The phone can hold up to 32 gigs, which is the same capacity as the 3GS model. The phone has better motion sensing. It's got a three-axis gyroscope, which is new, and it joins other motion features that the old phones did have. These specs are important to gamers and are useful for GPS as well. Jobs is moving on to the cameras in the phone. As we reported earlier, there will be a rear and front-facing lens. The camera has been upgraded from a 3 to a 5-megapixel sensor with the backside illuminated sensor. The LED flash tap to focus as well as digital zoom will improve photographs such as these. And the, the video camera will be in HD with built-in editing. Very basic editing was available on older models, but on this phone you will be able to use iMovie for iPhone, which will allow for much greater on-the-go editing capabilities. The app costs $4.99 and allows users to add transitions and titles, view keyframes, and more. That's the latest from the Worldwide Developers Conference. We have not yet heard anything about the price for this new model, and Jobs is just now getting into the multitasking aspect of the iOS 4, so we will update you on that and more when the time comes. I'm Christy Duffy for Smart Trend News. Stay with us by subscribing to our YouTube channel, Trade the Trend, and checking back to our website, tradethetrend.com.